Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the impact of MetaQuotes changing MetaTrader 4, basically trying to integrate MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. They just recently come out with a new build for MetaTrader 4 and so if you're just downloading it you're going to get the new build. It's build 604 right now but it changes the file structure completely for your indicators and your expert advisors. So the brokers don't tell you any of this. I did get an email from FXCM. They were kind enough to give me some info, so that was very good. However, we did find a site that goes over everything, and we're going to kind of do a little video on how to find these things in this new file structure. It's not too complex, but they definitely added another layer of complexity. So again, you can, you know, if you go to help and about in your MetaTrader, you'll know that, you know, it's just a matter of time before you get this new build 604. So let's take a look at the site and I'll post the link for this site also here and go over the changes. We open up our, you know, filing system here. We look at the C drive. We look at the program files x86. We find our MetaTrader 4 version, in this case, ATC. I'll double click it. And you would just put your experts in the experts folder. You know, I have some experts down here. You put your indicators in the indicators folder. And right here, well, that's all gone away. It's changed. So I have since downloaded uh, MB Trading because we had a customer that had a lot of problems, so that got us really digging into it. So again, the old system, we go to C Drive, Program Files x86. Let me look for the MB Trading MetaTrader 4. This is the latest build. It's new. So you can see things are different, that you don't even see an Experts folder anymore and you don't see an indicators folder. So what they do have is this MLQ folder, double click there, and this has the experts and indicators. However, that's not the real folder. It's hidden. So as you can see, you kind of read this, this guy, and he tells you all about it. He's got pictures, and he's showing you everything, what to do. Why are they hidden? They're, they're gone. So what you have to do is from inside MetaTrader 4, you're going to do this file and open data folder. So let's see if we can't do that and figure it out. And really, this is my first time, so I'm going to be figuring it out with you. So file and open data folder. Okay, so now we have, you look up here at the top, and you can see how um, this is the actual file location name now is user owner app roaming medical it's terminal and this long number this is where they're hidden this is where they have them now so it's kind of insane but now that we found it so again file open data folder right file open data folder that's going to be your first step so we're going to keep this open for sure because then in that mlq one is where we're going to go and this is where they're going to be hidden. This is where your experts, you'll put your experts there, your indicators, that's where you'll put them there. So let's go to the Trend Jumper site. It could be Keltner Bells, it could be anything. So, in fact, Keltner Bells could be a good one, but let's do, uh, let's do Trend Jumper for now or full PTU. So I've got the installation for MetaTrader. We're going to click on the indicators. And again, I like to just say open. You don't have to save them. If you save them, you then have to unzip them. Depends on what your computer does. My computer, they pop open and I can copy them. So let's grab left click, drag, let go, right click, copy. Okay, I've copied them into my mouse. Let me minimize this. Now let's go back to that MetaTrader 4 and find, well, now now we, they're in my mouse still, right? I copied them, pasted them to my mouse. File, open, data folder. I thought this, this window would stay open. M MQ, 
L4, right there, and indicators folder, drop them in, paste. You know, you could just drag them over, but anyway, get them to this hidden folder that you open up from inside. This is a download, this is a, a default template, okay? You don't have to put that in any special location. Let's click on it. Again, it's a zip file. I open it up. So what do I do with this file? Well, you know, I you just you can copy it. Let's tr let's try this. Let's you know select it, right click it, and say copy. What I like to do is I just put it on the desktop. Okay, that way I know I can find it you know, easily. I'll paste it to the desktop. It's already there, so I'm going to copy and replace it. Um, but if I don't do that, let's say we try and do it the MB trading way. All right. Let's go File, Open Data Folder. There's a Templates, so let's double click there. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to say Paste. So now, hopefully, I have it, and I think I do, I have it in the right place for templates. So let's finish this one up. Let's just go ahead and load that template. The indicators should be in MetaTrader. I may have to close MB Trading down. Load, it's right there, look, I can see a template. I can select it, and the indicators work. All right, that was pretty easy. It actually maybe has gotten easier doing it this way. You know, get your files, and then file, open, data folder, and you can put them in there, so great. Uh, Let's see. All right, now let's jump over to um, putting in an EA. So I don't say like with Keltner Bells. Keltner Bells, we have a Range and Renko plugin. That's an EA. So I'm just going to click on this, and there's a video which I'll certainly have to update because now this is going to be the new video. So we're going to select the zip file, and again, say open if you can. If it'll open up. Otherwise, again, you have to save it and um, unzip it. So select the file, right click, and say copy. You're now going to copy it into your MetaTrader. Go to your MetaTrader, File, Open Data Folder, and this is an expert advised and EA experts. So you remember, you got to go to the new MLQ4 folder. And there's your experts. Double click on the experts folder, and now it's in there. Let me go back and get the next plugin. That was the Renko. Let's do the range bar plugin. Constant range bars. We're going to say open, grab the file, right click. Oh, right click and copy it and now go to our MetaTrader I can put it right in yeah that's right there go back one and I better I better start uh, there we go this is the folder so again you can just go to the a file open data window. I just kind of backed up to where it was. So this is in the experts folder. So now our Keltner Bells EAs are in there. If I want to look down here in MetaTrader, uh, I need to restart it to see them. Let me just restart MetaTrader 4. Okay, I've started MetaTrader 4 and you can see they're now here in my expert advisors. Remember, you always have to turn them on. See this red button up here? You got to turn on your expert advisors. Uh, again, you should go to your Tools, Options, and Expert Advisors, and turn all of these on, these four, over, so they default to on. So again, if I wanted to make a, a Renko bar chart, I could. But that's a whole other story. Actually, this new up build did make it a little bit easier. But again, all your templates have moved to a different folder, and things like that. Your profiles, they're all different but we've told you how to find them out. Good trading.